have put up. So I'm getting honked at, but I'm waiting for pedestrian. That's like 100% what you're supposed to do. So he's honking, but there's somebody literally in front of my car. Yep, little concern over that cyclist. That's what I figured. Man, you just wanna go right next to this bus, huh? I would not, I would not do that. Oh my goodness. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. My name is Chris and it's our first video with 100,000 subscribers. We did it. Thank you so much everybody. So now we can move on to bigger and better things like getting to a million subscribers. So make sure, just kidding. <laughs> We're here, uh, 100,000 is a sweet goal. I'm happy with that. Um, we are here with the latest full self-driving beta update, 11.4.4, and I have a few things as we start this drive out and kind of see how the system is doing through downtown Ann Arbor, where I expect it to be very busy with lots of pedestrians and, and traffic. Uh, a few things I want to talk about as the car is driving us around. So first of all, uh, beta for me, the past few weeks, especially with 11.4.3, has been exceptionally good. Now, when I say that, it doesn't mean beta, wow, look at it waiting for this car over here. It doesn't mean that beta is making no mistakes. It doesn't mean it's doing nothing wrong. It still has a few bugs here and there, which we will probably see in this video. It doesn't mean the drive we're about to do is gonna be perfect and I won't have to do anything. But for the most part, most of my driving I've been doing with beta lately, the car has been able to get me A to B with zero disengagements, meaning I'm not taking over steering. The car is driving. Maybe I'll hit the accelerator pedal here or there. and even some zero intervention drives and this has been like pretty typical for me and what really blew me away about this update was my wife and i went to muskegon for the tesla owners club of michigan meet and the car drove us around that city again a little weirdness here and there but it drove us around that city with almost no problems it was pretty crazy and you know i always get a little skeptical when i do these ann arbor drives you can see we're starting in a new area i did that on purpose because i'm like hmm is there something with the fact that i'm doing the same areas over and over uh, is there any way tesla's team pays attention to that and can tailor things to that area so i actually expected muskegon to be much worse and it performed about the same as what I'm experiencing around here. Now I did record a video with Stephanie, which let me know if you want me to post it. Now it's on 11.4.3, so it's on an older version. I didn't have time to, to upload it, but it just seems that lately Tesla's progress on full self-driving beta, what we've been experiencing for me, I'm not saying this covers everybody, but what I have personally been experiencing after using this system over, over for almost three years has been exceptional. It has improved so much the last few months for me in many different areas. Um, let's skip this red light. So if you look back at my past few videos, I think the last two videos I did downtown Ann Arbor and then my one with my friend Cruz were both zero intervention drives. And then the one I filmed with Stephanie Muskegon also ended up being a zero intervention drive, which I just did not expect. I, I fully thought I would have to do something being in a new area. So like this steering wheel stuff, like I don't know if anybody really cares about that, but that's something you know, you could you could point out that's a little weird. So I've been, I've been very impressed with beta lately. I just wanted to throw that out there. Despite any weirdness we may still come across, there is still work to do. Something very basic like emergency vehicles, I've had to take over um, for emergency vehicles. You definitely got there first and you're to the right, so you should go. Uh, <laughs> um, if an emergency vehicle is coming up behind you, beta doesn't care, it'll just keep driving, you have to take over for that. So there's some basic stuff like that and like sometimes the internet connection is a little weird. That's not correct. Now we're in a parking lot. <laughs> Wow, can you get out of here? Let's see. Here we go, tight squeeze. So the other thing I want to talk to you about is um, I will be going to, wow, oh my gosh, good job. Uh, California at the end of July to the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley meet. I was invited to that. Huge thank you to them. And really, is this a one-way street? I have no idea. No, I don't think so. I don't know. No, it looks good. Wow, I got out of the parking lot. Sick. Um, so I'll be going there. So check it out. I'll put it's teslatakeover.com. I'll put that down. And the only reason I am able to go to that is due to these sexy buttons right here. The makers of the sexy buttons have uh, agreed to sponsor my trip there. They reached out. Um, so thank you so much to them. I do love these buttons. That's how we started this trip. It is the only thing I've done in the car so far besides touch the steering wheel is press this little button. So I don't know why you're stopping in the intersection. It's because there's a cyclist coming. And we're kind of getting in the way here a little bit. I think the car just got scared of this cyclist that was coming up on us. And I'm going to allow that. And then we have another pedestrian. So it should go right after this pedestrian. And we'll see. Oh, just do it, please. You're so awkward. It's just so scared. I don't know why. So there you go. Not that the car is driving perfectly, but I am able to allow the car to do a lot more uh, than I used to in the past. So I wanted to talk about that. 
and I think that kind of covers everything. So here we go. We're, we're in the, the busy part here. Man, you just want to go right next to this bus, huh? I would not, I would not do that. Oh my goodness. So I like how in the intersection it won't go and now it wants to drive on the other side of the road. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna just hit the brake here and let that bus go. So there we go. So we have a disengagement on this drive <laughs> after I just talked it up. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? And then it's gonna turn left there when we're supposed to go straight. There we go. So I'll count that as two disengagements. Oh, I missed it, what the heck? I missed the voice note. I've been leaving lots of voice notes. Some weird break in there, okay. Hmm, all right, well, maybe I shouldn't talk nice about you because it's like every time I do, you scroll. So if I had posted the video with Stephanie, that would have been three in a row with zero intervention drives. And now we're at a two disengagement on 11.4.4. Overall, uh, I have over 100 miles, you can see, um, on 11.4.4 so far. And some of my like bugs, like my consistent bugs that I've been seeing, uh, are still there. So in Michigan, you probably won't see it in this video, but we have, when it's a two lane road like this, sometimes you'll have a lane open up to the right with dashed lines and it's only for passing. If somebody has stopped, wow, you wanna turn right there. If somebody has stopped and they're waiting to turn left, you can pass them on the right with those those dashed lines. And um, the, the car beta will pretty much, like 99% of the time, drive into that passing lane as if it's a lane it's supposed to be driving in. I've been reporting that for months with these, these voice reports and it still is a problem. Now, one thing that Elon Musk responded to me on Twitter about uh, was my car randomly taking this exit on my way to work. It did not do that today. So that's the first time, well, it's not the first time it's ever happened, but uh, it seems like maybe that was fixed. I'm gonna do it a few more times before I really like, you know, tweet about that or anything. So, all right, let's get out of this neighborhood and uh, continue when it gets busy again. All right, so we got to drive around some cones. That should be pretty simple. And the car handles it. Wow, it's another like, wow, huge hole in the ground. But yeah, the car handled that nicely. All right, we'll need to make this left and then I can uh, edit our route. So nice job moving into the left turn lane. The turn signal timing was really good. This is all very smooth. It just moves right through here. So a little bit of a, a rough area back there with the bus and then I don't know what happened with the nag, um, but it seems like it's recovering pretty well. Another thing I kind of want to put, what are you doing? Like, shouldn't we not be like right next to this guy? I think the car thinks it's two lanes and it's, I don't know if it's two lanes. Uh, oh, maybe they do have a right turn lane back there. Okay, maybe that's my bad. Um, and then they went straight. Hmm. Now I'm doubly confused. That was really weird. Here's where I was confused before. Many of you said that we can move into that right turn lane because it's dashed. I think I agree with you, but even though the arrow's there, I think it's just leftover paint from before. All right, so we are waiting for this red, which is really nice. No turn on red. We've seen this before. Again, like I've said, ever since that seemed to be implemented, I've never really had it mess up. And the car does wait for the green and, and go for the, the green once we can. It does not make a right through the red. So waiting for this pedestrian there, giving them a tiny bit of room, not that necessary, but that's fine. And a lot of the driving, you know, I do uh, on a daily basis, and I do try to make videos of, is just normal A to B driving, rather than like what I do for the videos is put in all these random routes to make it a lot more challenging. Uh, and it definitely shows the car's more capable, but those videos aren't, ex aren't as exciting. Um, people don't care as much. like. I had to drive me to the airport and I, I think I changed the speed or something once or twice. I had to drive me to Home Depot. I don't, I don't remember. I don't think I did anything. Maybe again, I changed the speed or something or, or pressed an accelerator. Um, and it, it does those, those trips, you know, without too much help. But, um, of course it's much more fun to push it and see where the car is going to mess up. Like that scenario with the bus, like any person I think would, uh, it'd be very obvious that the bus is going to make a wide right turn. So they're just kind of hanging out in the middle. So they have more room. The car, it's more robotic. It just goes, oh, I have room here, technically. <laughs> so I'm gonna squeeze into my lane next to this bus. So uh, yeah, that's why I stopped it back there. All right, so this left turn, we have a green, but pedestrians also have a walk sign. So we need to yield to them, which we're doing. And pretty nice, pretty decent takeoff. That's another kind of complaint I have since I'm talking about how good the system is. I'll talk to you about some of my daily complaints that I have takeoff speed is just not very good a lot of the time. So I do a lot of driving on rural roads where the speed limit is like 60 miles per hour and the car will, you know, make a turn when it's safe and everything, but then it just kind of very slowly gets up to the speed limit and you have people like flying on those roads. So a lot of times for me, I'm hitting the accelerator in those instances because I need like a better takeoff speed. 
So we got the green a little slow on these people up here. Uh, there is, again, we've seen this before, this uh, road close to through traffic sign. Everybody drives through this, so I kind of let the car do it too. The car is very good at knowing, you know, uh, that sign is there. It doesn't seem to really understand what that sign means. So another kind of deficiency that the car has to deal with is, is learning what that sign means. So all of that is closed up there. We'll wait till we take our right turn. And so that's another problem. If, if I had my nav going straight, which this may be navigating around on purpose, but if I had it going straight, it would go through that little open section there. So we need to turn right, and this is probably going to take a minute because of the pedestrians. You can see they're blue. Yeah, you can scoot up a little bit. we got plenty of room here. And I would take it, but it's just going to keep waiting. So sometimes a little too polite. I don't know. I'm fine with it personally, but I know some people watching. See, like, that guy's coming out of there. How did he get there? Uh, <laughs> say that when you're in a city, you got to, like, push a little harder to get through or you'll never make it. And so, like that. So that was good. Maybe technically we could have waited one more time, but then you're basically going to be waiting forever. So the car is stopping here because this was our destination. It is loading up that next route. I'm not sure it has it yet. So you just got to wait a second. Very nice. Very nice spot to wait. Now you can go, though. <laughs> just taking a break. All right. Now you decided it's safe. That's fine with me. Ugh, big hole in the road. Okay, and we can continue. So here's another four-way stop. Again, waiting for pedestrians. Let's open that up for you. Okay, we definitely were here first. I don't know why that person's even thinking of going. They like weren't even gonna stop at the stop sign, but Beta, I would say, handled that well. Uh, we were waiting for pedestrians, <laughs> and I don't know. I thought it was our turn to go like very clearly. I'm not sure why that person thought they could uh, continue there. Yep, a little concern over that cyclist. That's what I figured. They weren't in our path at all, but the car was still a little scared. It did handle it. I didn't need to help it. Uh, but pretty interesting that it alarms when they're not even going to cross our path. But it's good that, that it's aware. So I don't know. Can this guy walk? Doesn't look like he's going to. Nope, he's got a stop hand. And we'll glide right through that right. Very nice. And it looks like, are the police blocking this road up here? Nope, he's just driving around onto the sidewalk. All right. So this stop sign is kind of blocked by this truck here. I don't think that will mess Beta up. Ah, oh, darn. I wish he would have stayed there. That's all right. So this is another pretty busy part with pedestrians up here, which was uh, put in the release notes. I didn't even mention it, but there are new release notes for this one that I will have put up. So I'm getting honked at, but I'm waiting for pedestrians. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I think that, I mean, legally, I definitely am supposed to wait for all of these people. That's like 100% what you're supposed to do. So he's honking, but there's somebody literally in front of my car. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to run him over. Like, why are you honking? There was literally someone standing in front of my car. Oh my gosh. Like, that's obviously the, the human error for sure right there. So this person I would stop for, but it looks like the car's not going to. Um, I'm not sure if that's a crosswalk or not. So legally, I'm a little iffy on that one, but I would have stopped for him because it was pretty obvious to me uh, what their intention was. And this looks like, what, a three-way stop? Handled nicely. Wow, did we even hit zero? It, I, I felt a tiny little rollback, but I, I didn't feel like an actual stop. I don't know. Okay, is this, wow, this is where we're supposed to go. Okay, I actually had no idea. If I was driving, I would not have done that correctly. So that's very cool to see. And wow, lots of construction here. So it does glide right through that stop sign. Oh, it stops. Okay, stopping for stop sign in the road. <laughs> That's wrong. There, I'll report that. Um, kind of a weird stop sign, but again, obviously to me, like I would not have done that incorrectly. Um, so I would have messed up, and then I wouldn't have messed up, and, and vice versa. The car didn't mess up, and then it did mess up. All right, so I put in my final destination here. Uh, let's get a little more driving in. This left turn is going to be difficult, and we need to move over. 
and somebody's kind of in our way. Now that's a feature I love about the 11 or 11.4 updates, whatever brought it. The I think it's version 11, the car will actually turn off the turn signal if it can't do a move. So in the past it would turn on the turn signal because it wanted to change lanes. And then if it couldn't, it would just awkwardly leave the turn signal on like forever. <laughs> now it will turn it on. And if it determines ah, I can't do that right now, it'll turn it back off, which is really nice. All right, so we have this left turn coming up. We are surrounded by vehicles right now. So unless this person lets us over, we're definitely not gonna be able to make this left. And, okay, they did let us over. Now they're gonna be sad because we're gonna slow down here in a second with our turn signal on. Yep. Well, it did make it and the braking was very gentle. So uh, I don't think that would have caught anyone off guard and go immediately, very nice. Tiny bit slow, but I mean, at least it oh, immediately, as soon as it, would clear, it was clear, started to make that move so we weren't um, too rude to anybody behind us. All right, well, I think that's probably a pretty good place to call it. I am heading to the supercharger and we're out of downtown, so it's gonna be a lot of, you know, very simple, easy driving. Um, but my overall impressions, you know, I mean, the updates, the update, uh, I didn't really notice anything too different, but just this overall uh, progress march we're seeing from Tesla, where we're getting beta updates again every, you know, week or two. And just personally, my experience has been so good, especially with, Again, outside of the, like the consistent bugs I have where it will take the wrong lane or do things like that, just the driving feel, the driving dynamics, the way it moves about the world. So like this is a five-way uh, stop and handled that fine. Um, it, it all feels really good. There are still things to fix. There are still things, uh, capabilities the car needs. Um, it doesn't mean that I think that we're going to have robo taxis, you know, in the next six months. But yeah, so I would slow down for this person too. Um, so very cautious, doing a good job there. And, uh, but what I have on my car now, what I am using, I'm really enjoying. And I do feel like it's kind of getting more to the point where I'm a little more open to like recommending it to people to at least give it a try. It's still not going to be for everybody, but you know, back in the day I would be like, nah, it's just, it's too much work. Uh, you're still paying attention here, but it's way more relaxing um, and useful in my opinion than it used to be in the past. So overall, I hope you enjoyed this one. Share uh, your experiences down below. I believe this is rolling out to many people, not just the OGs. Uh, so a lot of people are probably on this update. So let me know how it's going for you. I'd love to hear your problems and your cool stuff that the car is doing. But overall, I hope you enjoyed this one and you will see me and Full Self Driving Beta in the next video.